Hi everyone. So today, today, I am going to be doing my, get ready, top five anime. Number five is Kenichi, the Mightiest Disciple. And I started watching this show like uh, two summers ago in July and finished it in August. And I was obsessed. I watched one episode and it was pretty good. And then I waited like a few weeks and then I started watching the next episode. Or it was like a few months. I don't know. It was a while. Um, and then I, I got immediately addicted to the show. Like, it's, it's, it's kind of hard to explain. I'll admit, I don't think their writing is nearly as good as a lot of other um, anime, but it was, it was, it was just, it really, it really captures you, you get hooked easily, the characters are funny, um, it's all focused around martial arts, and I love martial arts, so, um, it's, you know, it's really cool to actually, you learn some real martial arts stuff, I, I believe. And that's awesome. Uh, I just got that summer. I was like addicted to it. I kept like looking at videos online about like all the different uh, all the different fighting styles they were like learning and stuff. It was it was super cool. And I was mainly into it just for the fights. But like um, you know the characters they developed and there was comedy and romance and all that stuff as well. It was just, it was mainly about the fighting. Um, I believe it's still going on. I only watched like the first season, or I think it was two seasons. I don't really know. It's all complicated because of the manga. The manga's still going on, I do believe. I think that another season came out. I don't know, but I watched the first, the first kind of saga of it, and it was awesome. So, check it out. Number four is Arn High School Host Club, and uh, this is a this is a pretty popular anime. And if you're an anime fan like myself, and you're watching this, you probably already know what it is. Um, but if you don't, I'll give you a brief synopsis. It's about a host club that at a, at a private high school, and then they've got this one member who comes in who's who isn't rich like the others, um, but she's like an honor student, she becomes a host in the host club and pretends to be a boy, and then they've got to do stuff, and it's just all fancy, and I, I don't know, it, it's just really, really funny, and um, it, it's hard, kind of hard to explain why I love it as much as I do, but I think maybe you'll get it if you just watch a few episodes. It's, it, all the characters are kind of like they're over the top, um, but they like they do their job so well in their own like kind of not really stereotyped, but it's like like I don't know what the word is. I'm missing the word here, but they're types of characters, and um, it's just really really funny, and it just it's. I don't know. I don't know what else to say. It's an amazing show, and please, please watch it. Number three is Hunter x Hunter. Um, I think it's actually pronounced Hunter Hunter, or so I've heard. Um, I don't really know, but it is about these few characters. Um, okay, I've only I'm only part of the way through actually. Um, but it's about a few characters who uh, take this exam and become hunters um, and do stuff. And really, honestly, I've only seen the first arc of it, so I don't know what the whole entire series is about and what happens and stuff. Um, but it's absolutely amazing. I watched uh, like most of season one um, in a few days because I just like... My brothers kept telling me to watch it, and I, I, like, I knew I was gonna like it, but it's really hard to get myself motivated. Um, after just watching like a few episodes, just I was hooked. I kept watching them over, and, I know, not over and over again, but I kept watching the episodes. Um, like, like I, don't, I don't know how much I watched tonight, but I watched a lot, and um, 
I can't recommend it enough. My favorite character is Gon, the main character, um, out of all the characters I've seen so far. Uh, but there are tons of awesome, awesome characters. Hilarious, uh, cool, uh, you know, like they have kind of like the, 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 the stereotypical anime cool person, but it's done in a less stereotypical way, and there are like kind of multiple of those people. If you've seen the show, you, you know what I'm talking about. Um, and then the main character is also kind of stereotypical in that way, but still done really well, and more there's more variety to him. Uh, it's just it's just really fantastic. It, it, it's that's it's pretty much everything I want in anime. Awesome fights, good character development. Um, comedy, you know, that kind of thing. So, please, please watch it. I only started watching it really recently, and it's already my third favorite anime. Like, I don't... Kenichi and Orin High School Close Club are very, very good shows. Very good. I love them. I love them. But Hunter x Hunter, boop, just stole their spots. So, please, please watch it. It's on, um, it's on Netflix. Um... And I'm sure it's on Crunchyroll and probably maybe Hulu or Hulu Plus. I don't really know, but it's awesome. Please watch it. We're just getting right down to it. Uh, my second favorite anime is... I don't really know why I need a drum roll for this one because it's just my second favorite. Fruits Basket! Um, another pretty popular anime. It's very, it's very, uh, romance based, uh, which I love. Um, it's still very funny, uh, at times though, which is part of the reason why I really, really loved it. And, um, it's about this person named Toru who, uh, mother has passed away, and she's living on her own, and then she runs into a family who is possessed by the Zodiac or something, and then like, they're, they're, they're cursed by the Zodiac, and if they hug someone of the opposite sex, then they turn into their own, their respective member of the Zodiac, and, like, they're, they're, they're all, they're all, just, just watch the show. I, I'm having a hard time explaining this, but um, uh, I think Toru Honda is is probably one of my favorite anime characters. She she's not really funny, but like she's just so nice. And it's like I want to be like Toru Honda and just be extremely nice, but it's hard. Like she <laughs> she's overly polite, and it's 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 kind of awesome. Um, and then. Like, I think if I had to pick a favorite character, I'm not even going to say because it'll come until later. Um, but they are awesome. And you should watch the show. It's not that long. It's like one season. Uh, it's like 20-something episodes, I think. A short but sweet series. Faux shizzle. Um, all the characters are great. Uh, and just... The ending, I'll admit, I'm not going to spoil anything, but I hated the ending. I uh, haven't read any reviews on it, so I don't know if this is a popular opinion or not, but I I don't know. Watch the ending if you want, but I was just like, I kind of regret it. It was not, I didn't enjoy it at all. I, I did not like how it ended. Um, I kind of just wanted more and it, to go in a different direction. But whatever, I think the manga ending is different. I'm not completely sure. But I hope you watch it because it is an amazing show that I have seen a lot of times. And finally, my favorite anime of all time across the entire anime spectrum. This is... This is big. I love lots of anime. Some that I feel like maybe should be included in the top five, but I had to choose. Hikaru no Go. Hikaru no Go is my all-time favorite anime. Uh, it's about this guy who's possessed by 
like the greatest Go player in the history of Go players, and um, he learns to become really good at Go by him, and he tells him what to do in matches and stuff. And it's just, I forgot how many seasons there are. I think it's the second longest or longest on my list here. I don't know. Um, it's either this or Hunter X Hunter that's the longest. Uh, but it's fantastic. Uh, I just kind of saw it on Netflix one day and I was like, mm, I'll give it a shot. It's not on Netflix anymore, by the way, I don't believe so. You have to find it some other way. Um, but... I started watching it, and it was like, ah, this is really cool. And it's one of those that doesn't immediately get you, but it still starts off pretty good. And then it just gets better and better and better and better as more characters are introduced and more characters develop. Um, and there are funny moments. It's, it has a very... It has kind of a serious atmosphere more than, um, more than some of the other anime I've mentioned today. But it is absolutely fantastic. The opening theme, there are actually three. Yeah, I think there are three seasons, I think. I believe, and I think Hunter x Hunter is longer. Because, there, I, yeah, three seasons, that sounds right. The first theme song is the best. If you look up Hikaru no Go opening or opening theme, you will get the first theme song. Um, most likely because it's well known as the best. Uh, it's called Get Over, and honestly, that's part of the reasons why I just love the show. It's such a good song, one of my all-time favorite songs, um, and it's it's just like it really gets you hyped for the show because the show's awesomeness matches the song's awesomeness, and it's just one big ball of of wonder. And you really need to watch it. I, I can't do the show enough justice by just talking about it. Um, it's because I'm not really good at explaining why I love anime, but I there's so many amazing moments, so many great episodes, and great characters, and uh, it was just my favorite experience watching an anime. So I hope you can get that same experience that I did if you do watch it, and I hope you watch all the other anime. Um, that has been it. I hope you enjoyed, and thank you for watching.